right guys, you joined me on my first session of the year, which is a bit of a weird one for me because normally I'm on the bank in January, but to start the, start the season off, I've got one in the net, which is a, probably mid-20 I would say, and the second one to rip off was this little stunning, probably bred in the lake to be fair, zip limb. So uh, I'll slip this one back and we'll, uh, we'll see what the other one weighs. guys well, what a way to start the session this is the first fish for me for 2020 uh, rocked off this morning about half past seven just prime by time now with them first lights are coming over those bushes um, came here last night literally got the bait out um, put three rods out quickly all went down an absolute crack so I was super super confident confident I've ever been on the bank to be fair so uh, yeah quickly got some sleep last night up at first thing and this stunner has graced my net at 24, 12. So just shy of 25, which would get to name it, but I don't really care. Still got two rods on the dance floor, and there's still time for another one before I've got to shoot off to get to work and then come back for another quick night. So uh, let's slip, this, slip it on the bat and show the other side, and uh, we'll go from there. There he is. He's still got, like, say, a few leeches on him, so they're still waking up ever so slowly, these fish, but purely now they're just clearly on the bait. I put quite a lot of live system out last night, and I'm fishing multi. I've got a white, a yellow, and a pink uh, Northern Specials on, so, so far the white and the yellow have done the do. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens for the rest of the session, but yeah, if nothing else happens, I'm well made up. Sort of give you a bit of running through what um, bait I put in last night. Um, literally, I uh, put a spread of uh, these live systems out, which have been soaking in the Amino 365 for the last couple of days now. Gives them that washed out appearance and it breaks them down and makes them really, really soft and digestible to the fish. Um, and then just before that, I drain off the fluid and then I add the uh, bloodworm extract. Well, not too much, just a little bit, just to obviously get that bloodworm mixed in nicely. Um, and then all I've done is I've gone around to the far side, I've got two spots going which I've spread, spread these out um, on, that far, on that far side. On top of that, um, I've got the two, two on the spinner rig, um, which is the uh, white northern special and the yellow northern special which got the bites. Um, and I've got the other one on the noodle rig, the bottom bite on the waft there, on a pink northern special. Um, so yeah, all of them went down with a really, really good hard drop last night. So I was really confident that they were all going to really put all these well. I thought all might, all might have gone to be fair. The, that, the crack was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so fingers crossed if I get the same drops tonight, um, I'll go around shortly and put some more bait out. I've just like I said, I've got them out now just for a couple of hours just to see where I can pinch one off while the sun's on that far side. So you never know, you might just snare one this afternoon. It seems to be the afternoons and mornings at the moment. Um, nights are a little bit quiet, so um, yeah, so we'll all gear up for the, uh, the morning activity, I think. Uh, obviously, my fishing this year hasn't really happened. Um, I had a couple of sessions in December last year, um, and I, had, I managed to snare a 14, and in the last session, I lost a really big fish on the far side due to a hook pull. So it didn't really end very well last year, but I'm hoping the start of this year, uh, we'll start you know producing some of the big fish again um, so yeah hopefully I'll have a whack at show you the morning
I think that's about it for this session. Um, nothing materialised last night and I wasn't expecting it really to be fair. Um, all the bites, like I said before, have been coming early doors. Um, this morning, a little bit of a different morning really than yesterday. Um, it's the wind direction's changed. It's gone now pretty a cold northerly rather than southwesterly what it's doing yesterday. Um, I was kind of hoping that the sun would burn through the clouds a little bit. Um, it's been a bit drizzly. Uh, that sun sort of wakes up that far margin and this time of year them fish are hunting the sun anyway. Um, but yeah, it's not really happened. Um, I've probably got another about, say about an hour or so before I've got to reel in. So still, still on times for potentially a bite, but um, I don't know, it's ticking away now a little bit. Um, but I've had a fish from my first session, um, so yeah. You know, I made up. I made up with that. So this piece is going to be a little short diary piece this time. Obviously, with me doing a few of the quick nights with work in between, um, but I'll hopefully be getting back more regularly. Obviously, I'm on stonies as well this year, um, so I can't wait to get my teeth into that place. Um, but Blake itself has uh, now turned back on the day ticket, so um, you know. You've got some cracking fish in here now to get on. You've got Ivy, you've got T-Bone, um, you've got the Big Lynn. They're just some of the big 18 members in this lake. And obviously I think at the right time, you've got about 12, potentially 30s in here now. So it's an awesome day ticket what to get yourselves onto. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, all I've got to say is really, um, hope you enjoyed everything. Um, and if I don't see you, I will catch you on the bank sometime.